Hey, Carlos Lago with Edmonds here, and this is the Tesla Model S Plaid. That's right, the brand new EV with over a thousand horsepower that is the quickest new car you can buy. It's so quick, in fact, that when we decided we wanted to drag race it against something, we couldn't find a worthy competitor from a four-wheeled vehicle that was unmodified, you know, just to keep things fair. So that's why next to me is a man dressed in leather on a vehicle that has two wheels. That's Chris Moore. He's a motorcycle drag racer and tuner. You can check out all his stuff on his YouTube channel and his Instagram. It's great stuff. He's a good guy and he's gonna give this thing a really good run for its money. All right, guys, here we are. I don't know if you could tell how much the wind is blowing or not, but we have got a crazy day here at Willow Springs in California. And we are gonna be drag racing a Tesla Plaid. Yeah, that's right, guys, the fastest production car in the world. Them on a 2022 bone stock Hayabusa, zero modifications whatsoever, straight off the showroom floor. And that's one of the quickest new motorcycles you can buy new. We're gonna see which of these two is quicker in a heads-up drag race. A professional motorcycle racer, drag racer on a quick, super quick motorcycle, or me, you know, just some guy who does, you know, YouTube car videos uh, in a four-wheel EV sedan. Keep in mind the Tesla Plaid set the record with a 924 elapsed time in a quarter mile at like 150 miles an hour. So for those of you who are watching, well, this is not a normal car, guys. This thing is unbelievable. It's going to be a good one. Before we get to the drag race, though, like, comment, and subscribe if you like videos like this one. I mean, how could you not? Uh, visit edmunds.com slash sellmycar to get an instant cash offer on your vehicle. And check out Chris's stuff, too, on his YouTube channel. It's good stuff to watch. Unlike EVs and, in fact, most cars in general, doing a drag race run or an acceleration run in the Model S Plaid isn't as simple as just showing up and hitting the accelerator. Once settled, you actually have to activate drag race mode on the screen here. And there's a little display that says it's going to condition the vehicle for peak performance. And now we wait. Let's get racing. blowing super bad once the front end started to raise I was starting to wheelie once I started to wheelie I couldn't uh, couldn't stay in the throttle because the front end was trying to wash out in front of me due to the high winds here at Willow Springs we got to rerun that one let's see what happens we'll try it one more time sure we may not get any better you know what I mean because I yeah. kept the front end down pretty damn good that time and it was still wanting to do it you know what I mean okay. Okay. Oh, here we go, baby. Come on, Musa. Let's go, Musa. Let's go, let's go. This thing is so fast. Ah! That thing is fast. Oh, my God. How'd that it's feel? Run. You know, I, I never thought I'd say a nine second quarter mile would feel a little underwhelming, but this is like, there's no drama. It was a lot of drama for me. The bike was coming up the whole time. I'm in and out of the throttle. The wind is blowing me. I'm going sideways. You're over there just on cruise control. Well, you know, the thing is, the yoke, whatever, but the steering's kind of light. So that's not great for high speed straight. Like it, it's a little, it moves around more. I'd want more resistance. I want more steering Make resistance. Make me feel a little better and tell me you didn't have it on autopilot the whole way. No autopilot whatsoever. Oh my God. But it's drama free. That thing is unbelievable. I it just is. knew when I went to second gear, I was going to reel you back in. Yeah. Well, we could do a roll race. Let's try it. Let's try a roll race. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> so the acceleration is quick. It's, it's incredibly quick. It's the quickest accelerating car you can buy from the factory. Uh, but there's, there's no drama to it. Absolutely. Like, it, it, there's, the drama comes from the time. The sensation is violent, it's aggressive, but if you've been on a roller coaster that accelerates quickly, it feels very similar. Uh, and it pulls 
continually until you cross the finish line. This is a rapid vehicle. What I don't like is how light the steering is while you're moving at speed. This, the steering could use uh, more resistance while you're going straight so, you don't, so it's not wandering as much. And it's not wandering aggressively. I don't have to put any steering input into it, but I do have to do a little more control than I'd care to. All right, so roll race, 40 miles an hour. Yeah, it sounds fun. All right, you gonna go at the start line or you're gonna jump it a little bit? Nah, Don't, only never, fair starts with a Tesla. Never give your secrets away, right? Oh, he's talking, I can't believe you're talking junk to a motorcycle rider in a battery mobile. Let's get racing, let's if get racing. If you spill your coffee, I'll be mad. I'll be drinking my Whole Foods water. <laughs> Roll race, here we go, 40 miles an hour. Oh, he jumped, he jumped. Oh, am I going to reel him in? Oh, I was pulling on him. Bye bye, Flap. <laughs> uh huh. <sighs> now that we took your all wheel drive starting advantage away, it's not so easy, right? Well, when you take away the all wheel drive start, you maybe jump the start a little no. bit. Oh, <laughs> You chase it to race. Hey, hey, you win. But Let's, what what are we doing again? One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> He's gonna make it round me! Busa oh, man. and a Tesla. The brake's getting a little soft. Oh my God. That thing is unbelievable. <laughs> that was so cool. So cool. Oh my God, I cannot <laughs> believe. I had you there for a while. When I went to third, you just started driving back around me. It's, I think, you know, the drag. It's, it's, just the it's drag definitely unbelievable. Yeah, the drag, especially with the wind. You have the supposedly most aerodynamic car in the world. I I'll can't you, believe it. It's unbelievable. Not the most brakes in the world. Yeah. The pedal's getting a little I long. I smell a little, a little sneaky. Yeah, do you see any smoke yet? Yeah. They definitely got a little heat in them, you can tell. I came into one a little little higher. Yeah, uh, I saw I, you moving around. That, <laughs> that was a good was, race. That was cool. That, that was, was definitely really cool. cool. I cannot believe it. I'm very surprised. Suzuki, we got to step our game up. You got anything quicker? <laughs> yeah. Let me try the other bike. I want to do it and see what it does. 2021 ZX14R, give me a rematch. That's, that sounds like a prescription. I don't even know what to say to you. Oh, I think you got the launch wrong on that one. On, I see him in my side view mirror, and I see more of him in my side view mirror. Again. It is unbelievable. Getting a little wow. windy out here. We got the gap sauce from on that time. We got to do it again to get a better start. So the, the bike may have gotten faster, but the wind's gotten worse. The wind has gotten worse. I think I want to try that one again, though. I got a bad start. The clutch is way different on this one from the Hayabusa. It's way softer. I didn't get off the clutch fast enough. I think I can put up a better fight for you. You know, it's funny. This thing's so quiet at launch, I heard your clutch. Yeah, you can hear it, right? Inside this while I'm doing a nine second pass. That thing's unbelievable. Give me a rematch. Let's do it. Woo-hoo-hoo, doggy. I saw his wheel come up. Oh, I don't see him in my side view mirror. He's hanging with me. Oh, there he is. launch on this thing. Oh my god, that car is unbelievable. I'm happy with that one, man. That thing is unbelievable. I got a good launch and everything. I feel like I rode it almost as good as you could possibly ride it. I saw your wheel come up a little bit and then just went As right soon as past. it came up a little bit, I have to wiggle the throttle. The wind is blowing me. I'm fighting the wind. 
and I watch you driving away. You're Stop drinking that latte. I see you over there. <laughs> You're working so much harder than I am. I'm sweating like crazy, and it's not even hot. I'm just waiting for the launch control to engage and do its little graphic. There's all the display here that I'm just like, oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, let me check on him in the side view. Yeah. <laughs> Make me feel better and turn the heated seats on so you sweat some. You know, it doesn't have seat massage, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. wah, wah. <laughs> It's tough. Oh man. Oh wow. Thing's quick. Oh boy. The NX14 pulls hard up top. Definitely held them off with style that time. The front end came up just a little bit. I didn't have to crack hardly. Just short shifted just a smidge on the one two shift. I could feel the bike roll over just a little bit, but it wasn't enough for me to have to let off the throttle. Let's hear what he's got to say now. What do you think? We might be seeing some performance degradation here because that was about five or eight mile an hour slower than the first couple roll races. Oh my. So you mean you got to charge that thing up in between races? The, the range looks fine, but hey, you know. Couple runs and then it's done. But hey, you want to try it again? You gave me a fair redo on the first roll on. Let's try it again. Let's do it again. Let's All right, do it one again. more time. All right. So the first roll race that we did against the Busa, I saw about 150, 151 through the finish line. That race we just did against the ZX14, I saw somewhere in the mid 140 range. So we might be seeing some performance degradation. It could be because of the wind. Either way, ZX14 gets to claim the roll. Round two, roll on. 40 mile per hour, let's see. believe how close that that car is unbelievable I don't know who won that was like a photo finish I was saying photo finish over and over and over you again you might that, have snuck it by me I don't know it was real close I love that when it's just neck and neck the, the top in charge of that car is unbelievable it's so cool watching you shift 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 yeah. and I'm just like oh that's that's neat and he's, uh, I'm, I feel good you're at least keeping an eye on me over there. I'm admiring your skill. As the wind's blowing me around, I'm trying to fight the wheelie. And me, I'm just like, yeah, sipping my latte. Thanks for keeping an eye on me. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> good stuff. So before we showed up, what did you think was going to happen? So I knew the Hayabusa was just redesigned. I knew it was supposed to be a better bike, but honestly, I thought it was going to do a little better than it did, the ZX14 turn to be the standout today. I'm honestly, I'm really surprised. Both bikes put up a close race. The ZX14 was a little stronger. Thank you for riding up two motorcycles simultaneously. I know you're an experienced rider. That must be really tricky. It, it definitely was a lot of a challenge, to be honest with you. These bikes stock height, no lowering help, no nothing on these things. It's a challenge to ride, especially with the wind blowing. Oh, I meant driving them here to the track simultaneously. Yeah, it was a trick. You got me on that one. <laughs> He's a pro. He's a pro. No, but we got to thank the people who brought the bikes out. For sure, Armand and Ron, thank you so much. More Mafia Maniacs, we like to call them. I put a post on the internet. These guys supplied me with two brand spanking new bikes. I can't thank those guys enough. And just to lose to a Tesla too. What a, what a I change. think you made the wind blow. You had to have, <laughs> dude, you knew I was gonna beat you off the start line. That wind was blowing, I, I was, I'm not gonna lie. I did the best I could, that thing is just fast. It's fast, but the wind is much more of an issue on the bike than it is in the car, obviously, because your your wheel, your whole bike is moving left I and right. I saw you over there just cruising along. One handed. Man, Come on, I was over here fighting for my life. You were working a lot harder. What was the hardest part? Managing the wind, managing the wheel spin? The, the, the wind was definitely, uh, I'm not gonna say the deciding factor, but anytime the front end came up, the front it started to roll. And as it starts to roll, of course, no matter how good of a rider you are, you can't control yeah. that. You're just kind of at the wind's mercy. And I had to back out of the throttle to keep the bike down, to keep the bike going straight, in other words. That's 
must be frustrating, especially when the Model S is just... Yeah, and the fact that I'm not scared to ride a wheelie. If I have to hang it knee high the whole way right beside you, I can okay. do that. <laughs> But I can't do that if the bike is starting to twist. I'm yeah. not going to put myself in danger or those guys' bikes in danger. That's totally responsible. I'd be totally willing to do that to a Tesla that is not owned by us. The, uh, the cool part, though, was not the drag races, but I thought the roll races, when we were kind of just dead nuts even. When, yeah. we, when we take the launch out of the equation, you can just see the power to weight of both these vehicles. That was so cool. Absolutely incredible. I was able to just roll the throttle on, and as I rolled it on, we could literally stay neck and neck. I was yeah. able to keep the front end down just enough. I could feel it on the ZX-14, especially. It was just barely hovering the tire, and I was able to keep that front end planted to make it a side-by-side -side race. I still think I might have beat you. We're going to have to roll the <laughs> footage back. I got to see it. It's pretty evenly matched, but that's what's so awesome about this pairing because you have, like, the quickest to completely stock vehicles that you can get. Absolutely. Win, lose, or draw, I'm not ashamed. I'm amazed. I cannot believe how fast the Tesla is. That's, it's been a great day. It's been a great day, great drag races. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Check out Chris's YouTube channel as well. A lot of good stuff. See you next time. Maybe with some more drag races against bikes. <laughs>